think I can I can see my breath. Um, hi. I really don't want to go for a run. I don't feel it like it at all, but I know I will feel better if I go for a run and I will start my day off great. Good thing I have this vlog to keep me motivated. to do each day, I need to do number three. Do one thing that scares me. One thing for me today was nourish a relationship. Sometimes I find myself being so busy that I don't keep my relationships well nourished. And this was happening with me and the two guys, Enrico and Sandro. I had been working with them and collaborating with them for the past couple years, uh, coming on air on their radio station. But today, a good friend of mine urged me to reach out to make a phone call. So I did. They've just been as busy as well. And they even invited me back on the show tomorrow. I'm going to make for them some matcha energy balls. And I think they'll think it's funny because they're balls. Come with me and let's make the recipe. This is really cool because I've never seen these little shopping guns in the US. So they're pretty common here in Italy. You have your card. I have two and I can't remember which one it is. Um, you take your card and you put it here. And then from here, I can just scan the barcode and then when I go to check out, I've already scanned everything and then I just pay it and I'm on my way. Nope. Don't do it. It's common to use plastic gloves, which I find it very wasteful because you're gonna wash your fruits and vegetables anyway. So after I've gotten my apples, I have to weigh it. They don't weigh it at the checkout. You weigh it here. And that's it. There's certain products that I can never find in Italy. One of them being cashews. There's all these other kinds of nuts, but no cashews. Let's make some almond butter. It only requires one ingredient, almonds. When you buy almond butter, a lot of times there's a lot of ingredients that don't need to be in it. I would definitely recommend using a food processor rather than a blender. Three cups. You can also roast these to give it a nice roasted uh, flavor. That recipe is on my website, italiacanakitchen.com. And I'm just gonna put them in raw this time. It usually takes about between five to 10 minutes. The first step is it's gonna start to become crumbly and it's gonna look like an almond flour. Think that it's never gonna turn into butter, but it will. I'm gonna turn this on, it's gonna make a lot of noise. I'm gonna play you a song. Have you ever failed? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Super creamy almond butter. Uh. Next time, I will definitely use my recipe on my blog where I actually roast the almonds beforehand because it didn't take five to 15 minutes, whatever I said, it took a lot longer. I took about 30, 35 minutes. I use almond and other nut butters a lot in my recipes. I also love to add them to my smoothie bowl or just to have a spoonful. On my blog, you'll find a great smoothie bowl recipe with blueberries where I add almond butter to it. It's really yummy. Half a cup of walnuts. I forgot the blade. <laughs> Damn. Two cups of dates. Yeah. Two tablespoons of my almond butter. One tablespoon of coconut oil. Uh. Uh. 
one teaspoon of chia seeds. Actually, I'll do two. And two teaspoons of matcha powder. Okay, so I just let it mix for about 30 seconds. If it's sticky, you can form it into a shape. Now I'm gonna make prettier balls. Yummy! Before we relax, I want to say a big thank you for watching this vlog and for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I would love your help. You can subscribe below. Thank you! Ciao! I need to use my onion faster. While I was pouring the almond butter in this jar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. No. Should smell this first to make sure it's all <laughs> that it's almond butter. <laughs>